Goes, do you think Gordon could accomplish the same thing if he wasn't using PEDs? That's from Justin Ava. Guys, a lot of these <laughs> competitors are using PEDs. Okay, I won't lie to you. Um, it, it's always something that's in the back of my mind. I, I personally, personally, I've trained with instructors in the past that use PEDs, and I always had a doubt of everything they taught me. Like I, I don't want to name names, okay? But I've trained with black belts. They do PEDs, and I was always questioning their jiu-jitsu. I got to be honest, guys. I always question jiu-jitsu. The guys who I admire the most are the guys who don't do PEDs, and they're amazing. I take it as an instructor. I train a lot of regular people. I have to trust the techniques that I'm teaching them. I take a lot of, I take a lot of, I take that very seriously. Like I'm teaching you how to take a man down, break his arm, choke him, pin him leg lock him. I have to trust that what I'm teaching you is purely efficient. It's a quest, guys. We're always learning. We're always trying to go in the gym. Every time I roll, I learn something new and I'm trying to find out like the minutia. But if I'm on steroids, I don't believe I can be a good instructor. I don't believe. Now, to be a competitor in Abu Dhabi at this level, guys, I'm telling you, there's probably a handful of guys who are not on PEDs. There's a handful I think the vast majority are on PDs. Now, how much PDs are they on? I think some guys are on more than others. And some of them are flirting with death, in my opinion, guys. Some of them might be knocking off 10, 20 years off their life. 10, 20 years. Is it worth it? I don't think so. Personally, I would never do that. I don't think it's worth it. Could we say, no, guys, uh, let's give them the benefit. Nobody's on PDs. No, guys, we can't do that. It's, 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 it's not... It's, it's gone to the point where there's more PDs in jiu-jitsu than almost any other sport. There's there's probably more PDs in jiu-jitsu than any other sport. And there's a lot of PDs in sports, guys. I hate to tell you, for those of you who don't believe it, I mean, you've lost your mind. Like, you just really don't know anything about sports. You don't know anything about sports. I think as an instructor, if you're an instructor, you should never do PEDs. You're polluting your understanding of jiu-jitsu. If you're a competitor, I personally would never recommend PED use because I, I feel it's always health first. But if guys want to risk their health, I mean, that's their own prerogative. Now, for MMA, I totally condemn it. Why? Because you're taking PEDs and you're hitting another human being in the head. Jiu-jitsu, it's a lot safer. It's a lot safer, of course. They're not hitting each other. But I think a lot of these guys are going to end up, you know, developing a cancer, destroying their liver. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a long, long list of side effects when it comes to PD use, but they're, they're competing on, most of them are competing on a level playing field because their opponents are using PDs. Has there ever been a natural winner? Yeah, look, I look, the, the Rotulu brothers are very young. I think they're natural, but there's a lot of guys who are not, in my opinion. And there, there are guys who are natural. Uh, and, and they make it up with that, you guys. I, I have no doubt there, there are some. Hard work, dedication, those guys, <laughs> those guys, I tip my hat. Guys, I want to tip my hat. I want to praise the guys who are hardworking, intelligent, smart, talented, that made it all the way to Abu Dhabi, naturally. I tip my hat to you. And even higher than that, guys, I want to tip my hat and salute all the MMA fighters who go all the way to UFC, naturally, without ever using PDs before after or during UFC. Some guys, they get cut and then they get on PDs. They make it back in UFC. Guys, I tip my hat to you. You guys are the best of the best and you are not getting the credit you deserve. You're not getting the pay you deserve because we know that without a shadow of a doubt, there are countless cheaters in UFC. When you sign a UFC contract, you are proclaiming that you're not on PDs, even though you are. In Abu Dhabi, it's a known secret, guys. It's known. Everybody knows the other guys on PDs. They're expecting the guy on the PDs. However, there are levels up to this. Guys, there are levels to PD use. I just think that these guys, a lot of them are flirting with death. So I, I would never recommend to my students. If they do it, that's their own prerogative. But I would never recommend somebody to risk their health. I think it's irresponsible for any instructor to ever do that. L is the liver king natty? <laughs> Guys, if you think Liver King is natty, if anybody out there think Liver King is natural, you know nothing about training. You know nothing. 
oh, he's got the nine, I don't know what he calls it, elements, and he eats only meat, and he exercises in the sunlight, and all that. What? What? Nonsense. Nonsense. Stupidity. Let me tell you, there's a new market out there. Let me tell you what that market is. Let's take advantage of really naive people. Let's inject ourselves with all sorts of hormones, pump weights, start an Instagram page, a YouTube page, and tell people we've discovered this new secret of how to get fit. By the time people figure out we're frauds, we'll already be rich. Guys, don't be so naive. Most of these Instagram followers, I would say 99, 95% of them, are all using PEDs. I know a lot of these people personally. I've I've been the proximity of, of, of Liver King. By the way, he's a very short guy. He's a very small guy. His abs are popping out. Like the, To get abs like this, guys, you need hormones. There's no doubt. I know I've, I've, people send me videos of him. He's made a video saying that he's natural. It's total BS. The man is a liar. Guys, I know too much about training. I know too much about training to sit here and lie to you and try to give him benefit of the doubt. I'm telling you guys, he is not natural. It's a joke. It's an insult to our intelligence. The guy, he's just take, he's just making money. He probably spends a thousand or two thousand dollars on gear a month, and he probably makes like twenty, thirty G's a month. You do the math. People out there are willing to do anything to make money, and Liver King is one of them. He's willing to lie to you, put you on a diet that makes no sense, has no research behind it, no science behind it, no long term science behind it. Yes, of course, if you eat meat, I guarantee you he doesn't eat only meat. I guarantee you this guy, he eats all sorts of carbohydrates. He even at one point, he's eating syrup. Like syrup is a carbohydrate. It's going to spike your insulin. However, if you only eat meat, guys, of course you're going to be ripped. You're never spiking your insulin. It takes insulin to drive fat into the cell. But he's eating maple syrup. Guys, the guy's not natural. 100% unnatural. Does PED disqualify you from goat discussion? That's from Creative Learning. Not, not in, not in grappling. I would say, I, look. And in you in MMA, UFC, absolutely. I think you should be banned for life. I think if you're tested positive for a substance, and we have 100 percent proof, you took an illegal substance. In my opinion, that's a crime. You should go to jail. Like that's assault. You hit another human being. It's a weapon. You're you're carrying a weapon, guys. Make no mistake about it. It's like faking that I'm a woman and going to the women's division and knocking out a woman, beating the hell out of a woman. I think you should go to jail. That's assault. I know there's a state or two in the U.S. that it's considered assault. If you get caught on PDs and you fought, competed in MMA and you cheated your way through and you threw the test and you got caught, it's assault. I can't remember which state. However, I totally agree with that. It's totally wrong. It's like bringing a weapon into Octagon secretly. What if you loaded your glove? That's assault. You should go to jail. I think you should be banned for life. None of these slaps on the wrist. Oh, he's suspended for six months. And sometimes they don't even tell the public. I totally, I'm totally against it. Totally against it. Now, sometimes the, the test is like in a gray area. Okay, those guys, I don't think they should be banned for life. We should suspend them, make sure it's out of their system. I understand there could be a gray area. But if we have 100% proof, if we know you, we caught you red-handed, you should be banned for life. You're pumping yourself up full of hormones. And then going into a competition where you're allowed to hit another human being in the head, I totally disagree with this. What did you think about the Mika versus Cade final? That's from Aladdin 18. Guys, that was an incredible match. If you didn't see it, Cade hits an incredible heel hook. And you know what? Those are the kind of heel hooks I think work best. You go from 0 to 60. I know it's dangerous. I know he popped Mika Galvao's leg. Like when I do a heel hook in practice, I always go... Zero to one, zero to two, zero. like slowly, I gradually put the heel hook on. But if you really want to win with a heel hook in professional competition, it's a, the heel hooks are done differently than in a practice room. In a practice room, I always tell guys, go slow, ease up, like just hold it tight. Don't even crank because you can break a man's leg. I've seen guys' legs break, you know. But in competition, guys, heel hooks, it has to be zero to 60, quick, fast, explosive. Kate did it correctly. That's how you break a guy's leg before. Like, you know, you have to be aware as the guy competing, you know, you're competing at the highest level. That's how they're going to do leg locks. You got to tap immediately. And the guy transitions to leg locks. He's in, he has, has the proper angle. You must tap. It's your responsibility to tap. But Cade put on that leg lock in a way that, man, very hard to escape. Extremely impressive performance.